Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a really cool, neat trick in Camtasia 2021 to grab a screenshot from a frame of your videos really easily. All right, so I'm here in the dashboard right now, and this is really cool because for one, you can grab this screenshot from any frame of your video and you can have it as a JPEG photo file. So you can use this for your YouTube thumbnails. You can just use it as a regular image to post on any of your social medias. So let me show you how to do this. So I've got a video here. It's just a sample video. I'm just gonna mute it because I don't need the sound. I just wanna snap a photo from it. So I'm just gonna silence the audio here. And then, so let's say, you know, you're editing along and you see something like a cool shot that you want to use as a photo. So you can literally just scrub along. Now there are two ways to quote unquote scrub along. You can literally just hold down your mouse and grab this. But if you wanna be more precise with a specific frame, so you see there, I, I just, I saw myself smiling there for a second. So let me just move the mouse over there. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the period and the comma key. I'm on a PC right now. I'm not sure what it would be for Mac, but this is how I'm able to move frame by frame is by pressing the period key, which moves it forward frame by frame. You can see it's literally moving. And then I could go back and you see there was a shot there where I was smiling. So maybe, maybe I want something like that. A little bit of an awkward smile there. Okay, not the greatest of me smiling, but let's say I want this photo. I want this as a photo. So all you would need to do is head over to this camera here. And if you hover over it, it says add exported frame. And then it says save an image of the current video frame on the canvas. And then it also had a thing that says Camtasia adds a saved image to your media bin and timeline. So I'm gonna just click on it. Look what it did. It created a still frame right here and it's also here in my images. If I double click on it, there's the image of it. And then you can see it on the frame. Now you're probably thinking, okay, great. It's on your timeline and it's in your media bin, but we need it extracted as a regular file so we can use it as a YouTube thumbnail, upload it as a regular image on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Well, here's where to find that. So on your computer, you wanna head over to documents and you're gonna see something like this where it says Camtasia. Click on that. This is where Camtasia puts all your other files. Like this is where the screencast recording is gonna go. And so this right here where I took the photo, it's probably this one actually. So if I double click on that, that is the photo that I just took from the frame of my video. And it's cool because it's coming from a video, but it's a photo and it looks pretty good. Besides the awkward smile, it looks all right. It looks like a photo was snapped. So now I can literally take this image and it's actually a PNG file, which is actually a higher resolution of a photo file. And you can upload this wherever. You can rename it. You can just click on it, rename it, upload it into Photoshop, work with it in there, upload it into Canva, upload it to, to Facebook, to Instagram. And it's an easy way to grab a photo from your videos. So if you found this helpful, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can get access to down in the description below. There's over 70 lectures. And if you wanna fast track your Camtasia learning without all the commercials and ads and everything, then I highly recommend getting this course. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.